Hey, what's up, everybody? Hold on one second. I just got to get my stuff together. Hold on. Dude, how's everybody doing today? Hey, Rona. What's up, Jupiter? Prominent? Yeah. Venna? You guys, like, want me to be late. No way. What's up, Fall? <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. What's up, huh? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Phoenix. I feel really welcome, dude. Thank you. What's up, Zao? Dude, shout out to uh, Animation Space for this thumbnail. What's up, Chip? Dude, my day's been good, man. Thanks for asking. It's been nice, man. What's up, Nazir? You want to do some ELA? Okay, we can do some ELA. Ooh, I'm probably going to do two hour streams the day before the test. <laughs> I don't know if we'll go two hours today. Maybe. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 11 days. Oh, man. How's your mental game, guys? What's up, Rodney? Focus on your mental game. You can convince yourself of anything, so you need to convince yourself that you can do this. What's up, Sing? Oh, will be trick shots. Dan's? Nice. It's a good chat. It's a really good chat, actually. All right. So I'm just going to wait like a couple more seconds or just like a minute more just for people to get in here. Um, but I am taking requests. I have some stuff ready. Believe it or not, I actually have some stuff ready for the stream today. Um, the tension. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's for sure. Minimum of four hours. Oh my gosh. Dude, you should not be studying four hours. No stress, which in itself is stressing you out. Oh, dude, April. <laughs> that either means one of two things. It means you're actually either good to go or in like a week from now, you're going to be like not sleeping. Hey, ghost. Okay, you need practice. Well, Shade, came to the right place, dude. Uh, so I got some grammar that I want to do with you guys from that I made last year, actually, and I never used it. <laughs> we are not going to do age games, Fena. Rest, rest in peace. It's not rest in peace. <laughs> oh my god, I need to, hold on. Let me get some drink with me. You got an 84 as a raw score. Yeah, it just depends on the, um, just depends on which sections you got your points, Chip. Like, if that's 57 math questions you got correct, and then, like, 27 ELA questions you got correct, then that actually might have a shot. Eight hours each day. All right, let me cut this music. Grammar questions? Yes, please. Okay, we can do that, Llama. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Sing. Let me order a pencil from Amazon. Amazon Prime. Alexa, Amazon Prime. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened yesterday, but my video yesterday got demonetized. Uh. <laughs> Are you retired, Shad? Well, dude, just all you got to do is keep your eyes open and watch the screen and, you know, play along, dude. Um. <laughs> Eight hours each day. That's so funny. Okay. Dude, yeah, Zhao. Busy schedule, dude. We got to keep got to keep everything straight. Uh, we can work on math prominent. Uh, I think we're going to start with some grammar, though. Um, just because, I I don't know, I just feel like we could definitely use to work a little bit more ELA. Do so good on the ELA section and do okay in the math. Yeah, that's actually a legit strategy, Fall. What's up, Jason? ELA is harder and math is easier. Yeah, people, I have said stuff like that, but the more I, stay, the more I say stuff like that, I'm just like, I have no idea. Like, they could do whatever they want in two weeks. Like I have a lot of experience with the test and I know what they have done in the past, but dude, in two weeks, they might do whatever. <laughs> Thanks Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Llama, we're going to work on grammar, dude. So I got you. Yeah. <laughs> we can do picking numbers. Uh, just ace to math. Yeah. I mean, really the goal is if you can, if you can ace one section, that's like, that's what's up. Your trash at ELA will sing. You won't be after today, dude. We're going to work on some grammar stuff. Um, later in this week, we're going to also work on reading comprehension stuff. You still haven't gotten your ticket? Talk to your counselor, dude. You're trash at math? Oof. Well, then hopefully you can crush the ELA, dude. You don't need to be like 
godlike on both sections. You only need to crush one section. So, like, just focus on your strengths. You take your test in school during the week? What? What is that, Venus? Is that this coming week or the week after the test? Um, okay, cool. <laughs> Dude, fall. I wrote almost an entire book on scrambled paragraphs. I made about 10 videos and about 50 pages worth of scrambled paragraph worksheets. I wanted it to, to be like a big part of my page. And then they got rid of scrambled paragraphs that year. And I was just like... Oh, dude, <laughs> that was heinous. Uh, did I see Fortnite Chapter 2? Nah, dude, I've been playing um, Call of Duty Mobile. That's been like my obsession. Uh, that and Brawl Stars, those have been the games. Um, but Call of Duty Mobile is like, they're trying to just be like PUBG mixed with Fortnite. They're just like trying to hit that middle ground. Um, dude, you get to take it to school hours. That's tight. Okay, cool, man. All right, so yeah, people are saying they don't have their tickets. <laughs> uh well just go to your uh i don't know counselor or anything i'm not like i'm just i just know the test i don't know the pro <laughs> i just know what's on the test that's what i know scramble paragraphs are not on the test ricky no oh my gosh okay it's seven minutes and i haven't even done a single problem yet shame on me uh so let's get kicking shall we um let's start with some ela let's get it what's up henry let's get it bang um all right so five questions um, it's taking up most of my screen. I can kind of read the chat. So if you have an answer, go ahead and throw it up into the poll in the upper right corner and, uh, we can talk about it. Let's get it. What is this? This is ELA, Henry. <laughs> this is it, dude. <laughs> oh, cool, man. I'm getting recommended. Yeah. Shout out to YouTube. Shout out to Susan. <laughs> Shout out to Susan for recommending me. <laughs> dude, that's, uh. Well, good for that. You know, good for your guidance counselor, man. I like that. Even if they don't want to take it, you got to take it. Dude, yeah. That's okay if you sweat when you take the test because the, the, the grader doesn't even see that. See. Okay. Uh, my email? My email's on the screen. It's tylertutortestprep at gmail.com. Okay. So we got some answers coming in for this one. A lot of people. Ooh. A lot of people. Going for B. Jupiter. <laughs> Weeb. <laughs> April prominent. Uh, Rodney, my boss. What's up, my boss? Pew man. Pew man's in the house. Dan's got B2. Oof. B trick shots. Ooh, Nahar. Nice, huh? Okay. Wow. Dude, Jason, Chip, auditioning. Yeah. Dude, crush, crush, crush. Nice. Zrizi, prominent. Oof. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, easy, right? But you got to make sure that you, you like secure the bag with these. Like, don't make a silly mistake. Kira got B2. Okay, Jordan. Zhao, Nazir, Rona. Dude, you guys, oh my gosh. You guys absolutely destroyed this question. <laughs> Infernus, you're wrong, bro. Okay, so Llama's on A. Good for you, Llama. Doing your own thing, bro. Don't be, don't be swayed. We've seen it happen. Okay, cool. So let's kick into this, yeah? So wait. Oh, wait, the first one. Okay, cool. So here's the first, um, here's the first question. Uh, Mike needed his lucky items to take the test. He took, he looks under his desk to find, to try to find his pencil and sharpener that he borrowed from his best friend. I can't talk today. He then opened his backpack, hoping to, they fell to the bottom. Eventually he reached into his desk and found them behind his books. Like you guys absolutely crushed this. So I don't want to go too, too, too far into this, but check it out. You have two options. You can look at verbs or you can look at commas, verbs or commas. Just choose what you're better at. For most people, it's like recognizing the verb because you just need to make sure that it matches the tense and it matches the number of people. You wouldn't say Rick swim. You'd say Rick swims and you'd say they swim. So you got to match the number. You got to match the tense. And in this, it's going to be tense. So he needed, past tense, needed. Oops, needed. Okay. He looks, that's present tense. Okay. So we got to decide, is it present or is it in the past? He then opened, ooh, past tense. Fell, ooh, past tense. Reach, past tense. So we need everything to be in the past tense. Looks is in the present tense. We need to get rid of it. Guys, this comma after pencil. He looks under his desk to try to find his pencil, comma, and. Bros, bros. That's a comma fanboy. That is a comma fanboy, okay? That, that's the same thing. If it's not a list, that is the same thing as a period. If it's not a list and you have a comma and, that is the same thing as a period if it's not a list. So he looks under his desk to try to find his pencil, period. 
sharpener that he borrowed from his best friend nah so yeah exactly so just pick what you're strong with uh and it's either going to be verbs or comma placements and yeah that's what's up the rest is actually good to go here we can go through what the co oh, whoa we can go through what the comma is or whatever but like the, you know i, I feel like most people kind of got that one um so let me get rid of this Bow. um downsize okay cool so oh yeah there's my email by the way yeah we usually do math too why are we doing this <laughs> we're doing this to get better i think at least that's why i'm doing this to get you guys better all right so i messed up my oh no that's actually that's actually what's up okay cool Ooh. yeah we'll just do this all right chill all right bro here's a second one uh, read this paragraph. Go ahead and throw your answers up into the poll if you haven't already. I'm just always so interested to see what people put in the poll. So that I in the upper right corner, like go ahead and throw your answer in there. And I'm just curious what you guys got. Okay, so a lot of people are getting this answer. Ooh. Wouldn't that also make the verb tense the same? It would for the first two sentences, yeah. Oh, uh, my email code is tylertutortestprep at gmail, bruh. Um, I should do Kahoot. Dude, I was trying to do it. <laughs> he's just trying. He's just following his dreams. That's so true in furnace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so a lot of people are coming in with answers on this one. Go ahead. I'm going to give you guys like 30 more seconds. Jupiter's got D, prominence cosines that. Um, <laughs> That's funny in furnace. Uh, Sing is on D, huh? Puman, auditioning cosines that. Yeah. Dude, I know. Too much ELA. It's been like two seconds. <laughs> Uh, prominence on D. Okay. Zao's on D. Nahar's on D. ZHG. Okay. The bruh. Zao is on D. Henry's on A. Good for you, Henry. Sammy's on D. Dan's. Yeah. Cool, man. Kira's on it. <laughs> Grammar is so much fun. Dude, what a time to be alive. Um, inordinate's on D. Vena. <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh, Henry's, yeah. Henry's on A. Nice, dude. Auditioning, Rodney, D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Shade. <laughs> yeah, okay, so a lot of people are on D. Uh, you, ooh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Shad's on D's, Rizzy. All right, dude, <laughs> it's been 12 minutes. Let's get serious, guys. All right, cool. So let's look at this one and let's see how it actually breaks down. Um, Sarah, okay, so again, dude, we're given the opportunity to either use verbs or use commas to decide what's correct. And these are new. This is this was only introduced last year. So wait, was it last year? I think so. So yeah, or maybe it was two years ago, but it's still very new, dude. So how many questions are grammar on the SHSAT? Uh, about 11. It'll be your first 11, just about. Dude, I'm so excited about your gerbil cage, April. All right, so let's go through this. Sarah sits on the edge of the bed, uh, edge of the table and pulls out her notebook. Okay, cool. She sits and pulls, chill. She spends every day filling her notebook. Um, but she feels so shy about showing them to people. Her friends encourage all of this is present. Tell this made her feel better. Ooh, yeah, that's past tense. A lot of people are would be kind of tricked by this because they're like, oh, her friend said something. And then now, oh, I just got your email, Cade. Chill. Um, a lot of her, her friends said something and now she, that made her feel better. But her friends say that her friends tell her and that makes her. Uh, if everything's in present, we got to keep it in present. Oh, thanks, Jason. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got to keep this thing in present. So yeah, it's going to be made and makes. That's going to be our. Um, that's going to be what we need to change there. Um, insert a comma after better. So here we go, dude. This is the comma fanboy again. This made her feel better. No comma there. She opens her book for her friends to see her drawings. Both of those things I just went through are both complete sentences. She opens her books for her friends to see her drawings. This made her feel better. All of that is complete sentences. So this so, I don't know if you guys are hit with this, but comma fanboys, suh, that's the S, man. That's the S in fanboys. So you need a comma before that so to make it a period-ish. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, next. All right, cool. Next sentence. Uh, let me get it so you can actually read the whole thing. Hold on. All right, cool. So this is the third question. You can throw your answers into the chat. You can also put them up into the poll if you don't want to get like, if you just don't look at the chat, if you don't want it to get spoiled and just open the poll and uh, throw your answers up in there. Nice. Uh, what would you suggest to get out of a writing block? 
Ooh, that's a good question. April, do something that you haven't done before. Try something you haven't tried before. It will engage your mind in a different way and it might be able to shake you out. <laughs> Whiz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so some people are coming in with answers. Keep working, guys. Keep working. Uh, and you can throw your answers into the poll, too. I don't want to say them out loud because I don't want to ruin it if anybody's working. But go ahead and throw your answers into the poll. <laughs> hey, Infernus, it's comma fan voice. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Playfee, boy, what's up, man? Okay, so people are coming in with the answers. I'm going to start saying it. Z, H, G, C, inordinate, inordinate being, D, Jupiter, D, Han, D, Pewman's on C. Ooh, baby. We got a split here. Jordan, D, auditioning, D, chips on D. Okay. Uh, Nazir, Xiao, Sammy. Mm hmm. What is math? <laughs> Anime weebs on D. <laughs> okay. Uh, play fees on B. What's up, play fee? Falls on D. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ooh, we got a little bit of a split. Uh, Jason, in the upper right corner, there's the letter I on my video. If you click that, you can get into the poll. Yeah. Prominence on D. Falls on D. Mm hmm. Okay. A lot of people on D for this one. I mean, we're going to go through it, obviously, but yeah. Um, look at all the capital letters. <laughs> it can't be A or B because that is making it present. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So Ghost is on D now. Oh, the quality. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get into this and let's talk about this. Um, your, my best tip is to not be nervous and to trust yourself. That's that's my best tip. Okay, cool. Um, so let's get into it. Cure is on D too. Cade's on D. Okay. So again, another example of these. I, I did not even realize that I put three examples in a row of the same question type. Dude, <laughs> talk about a bro moment. So hockey started as a small sport. We start looking at the verbs immediately. Started, right? So, uh, whoa. Mm, yeah, number B is just a bad. B sends two. Oh, okay. So, yeah, actually, this is a slightly different style of question, but I got this from the handbook. So, they do do this. So, we have the choice to change sentence one as far as the verb goes, or we can change sentence two. As far, as far as the verb goes. So let's look at the verb because that's generally the easiest. Started over time as more and more people take interest in sports, the popularity of hockey grew in our country. Okay. So that take is a little sus, don't you guys think? Um, because hockey starts as a small sport, that's very vernacular. Like that's how we talk. But dude, it's past tense. Past tense. We need to have this be past tense. When it was first televised, new to the sport, embraced past tense. So we know it's going to be either this guy or this guy. So now you got to know your commas, dude. It's going to be either C or D. So delete the comma after 1923. When it was first, when it was first televised in 1923. All right. This is a dependent clause, which is a full sentence, a normal full sentence. It was first televised in 1923. That's a legit sentence. However, when you put the word when in front of it, that makes it dependent and that makes it, you can't stand alone. So like if I said, when I sleep, what, what happens? It's like when I run really fast, what happens? So that's a dependent marker, this word when up in here. So that actually needs a comma after it to connect it to an independent clause. A much larger audience was able to watch the games. Bang. So that's actually good to go. That comma is actually legit. The sentence structure here is a dependent clause. Whoa. Is a dependent clause and then an independent clause. So you can use a comma to combine those. Cool. Americans, comma, new to the sport, embrace the fast skating and action-packed gameplay. Oof. Americans and then a comma? New to the sport embraced? No, dude. If you put a comma after sport, that makes this a modifier, a non-essential modifier. So... <laughs> <laughs> What's a word we probably don't know? I don't know. Precarious. Do you know what that means? Uh, clauses. We can go over clauses. Yeah, we can go over that. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that needs to be a non-essential modifier, which means that we need to put commas around it. 
Americans, comma, new to the sport, comma. And that means that we can take it out of the sentence and then it would read really good. Americans embrace the fast skating and action packed gameplay. So keep in mind, dude, if you surround something with commas and it's like not a list and it's not like a comma fanboy and it's surrounded with commas, it could be a es non essential modifier. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's up. The answer here is D. That's the answer I got. I shouldn't have told you the answer, but whatever. We're cruising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four, let's get it. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Thanks, Wiz. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing um I'm gonna be doing SAT after this. So if you guys are if if you want to go to college, if you want to go to college, let's go. We can do the SAT. I got you. Okay, Andrew thinks that's Sheba. <laughs> <laughs> all right zao you got to push through it bruh the shsat isn't going to care that you're tired so you got to grind dude that's what it feels like that's what work is yeah salmon that's a pretty good and dude my diagnostic is only a third of the length so it's not like a real test but it's a good predictor of your ability that's nice <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have some answers coming in. Also, don't forget to tap them into the poll if you guys can. That helps a lot. Um, okay, so we got A coming in, April Chip Nade. Uh, in furnace, I can't even read that with the scroll right now. Z, H, G, Chip, Zrizzy. Oof, dude, you guys are crushing this ELA today. Whoa. Dude, A is the most tense. Well, we're, we're talking about precise language, guys. Why this, Shade, Fall, Salmon. Dude, everybody's on A. Whoa. Vena, Dan's, Nazir, Anime. Playfee's on B. Good for you, bro. President's on C. Chill. Um, oh, nice, dude. C is irrelevant? Mm, maybe. Jason's on A. Jupiter's on A. Fall. Shod. Uh, maximum score for the diagnostic is in the 700s, Nade. Prominent, Crunchy, Dan's, Cade. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's go through this, dude. Oh, you're Phoenix on an all? Dude, crazy. Uh, Sammy, Sing, Ricky, Anuj. What's up? What's up, Anuj? Okay. Uh, that's okay. That's that's good. But it's not like you still want to keep pushing it up. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's go through this one. When the sun finally came out, Tyson went to a nearby place where he could enjoy it. Oh, man. I, I didn't want to use this one. Why am I? I think I uploaded the wrong file. <laughs> I think I uploaded the wrong file to OBS uh that's that's on me bros okay so <laughs> dude thanks shod shout out to shod he's been an og for real okay so let's go into it when the sun finally comes out tyson went to a nearby place where he could enjoy it and we're talking about this went to a nearby place where he can enjoy it guys you cannot change the meaning to the sentence that's the key okay so we know he went that's the verb a nearby place that's the position where he could enjoy it. That's the action. Okay. And what is he enjoying? The sun. Because that pronoun, it, goes to the sun. When the sun finally came out, Tyson went to a nearby place where he can enjoy it. So we have to rephrase it or the sun or whatever. Okay. So a lot of people said, A, walked. That's more precise than went to his local park. That's more precise to a nearby place where he could sit in the sunlight. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. Traveled by foot to a good spot. That's actually not terrible. But to talk with friends, that has nothing to do with enjoying the sun. He could be indoors in like a coffee shop or a Starbucks or whatever. So that's kind of whack. Wandered across town. All right, that's pretty decent. Yeah, went to a nearby place. Okay, I guess that's kind of across town is a nearby place where there is a phenomenal view of the Hudson. Bro, that is not enjoying the sun. That's enjoying the Hudson. Uh, so yeah, he's enjoying the, the day by looking at the Hudson. But we need to specify that he's enjoying it. And what that it is, is the sun finally coming out. Um, quickly made down to his, his way down to Central Park with his Frisbee because he because bad weather can come back at any moment. That just changes the meaning of the sentence. Um, it doesn't really express his like nervousness that it's not going to last or whatever. All right, cool. Last one. Yeah. 
Number five, go ahead and uh, put this last ELA rep in the bank. Throw your answer up into the poll. Let's get it. <laughs> you disagree, Jordan? <laughs> we could talk about it. If game end is monetized version of death, game starts monetized version of Sorry. game pause. I don't know if you like went into a coma or something. <laughs> Just pause your game of life. Okay, so Cade is on E. Very nice answer, Cade. <laughs> uh, I already I already said a word that you don't know. April is it uh, precarious? Do you know that word? That's a really good one. Okay, so Jupiter's on B. Prominent is on D. Sammy's on A. Dude, that's a good. Sh that's a pretty good score. Why this? It's pretty solid, dude. Han's on B. Rona's on B. Weeb's on B. Uh, Nafiz is on D. Chips on B. Um, yeah, that's true. Auditioning's on B. That's that's super true, Venus. Um, Weeb's on it. Salmon is. Wow, this chat's going way too fast. Salmon's on B. Inordinate's on D. Okay, Pew Man's on D. Sorry's on A. Shade is too. Sammy, you got to make a choice. <laughs> Jordan, uh, you're on E, dude. You're wrong, bro. Uh, Rodney's on B. Okay. Zrizzy's on B. All right. A lot of people are kind of getting... Jason's on A. Prominence on D. Ooh, did I finally, finally get a question to throw you guys? Finally. Uh, Jason's on A. Jordan's on B. Ooh. I'm interested to see what the poll says, bro. So go ahead and throw your answers into the poll, too, just so I can kind of get, like, a, a better idea, I guess, like, uh, I don't know, number-wise or whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. Hold on one second. Uh, dude, YouTube. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> it's just like blasted my own voice back into me. Hold on. So I just I just reloaded the page so I could look at the poll just to see because it seems like a pretty big split on this one, bros. To be honest. Yeah. Ooh, really big split. All right, dudes. Well, let's go into it and let's talk about it because uh, this is probably pretty relevant. I don't think this question's broken. Rebecca was preparing a trip to Arizona, so she took s some shirts that are good. Um, we need took some shirts that are good, guys. And this is like my technique with this. This isn't like what the city tells you, but this is what I generally have figured out to work with in relation to the problems the student handbook has. You need to rephrase and make the verb more specific. You need to make this noun more specific. Okay, so she took some shirts that are good. So took, all right. So put in some of her favorite shirts. Okay, so put in instead of took, my question to you for A is put in where? B, pack the five shirts she liked best. Okay, so packed instead of took, the five shirts instead of some shirts, and that she liked best instead of that are good. That's, I don't know, man, that's look pretty good. Stuffed a suitcase full of clothes. That's just as, gen that's actually less specific because at least here we knew some that she was bringing shirts. This is just clothes. So that's actually less specific. Um, included in her luggage, a couple of nice shirts. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good answer choice. Okay, so let's go into this. Included in her luggage instead of took or instead of packed. So that's actually pretty included in her luggage and packed are pretty, pretty close, actually. Because if you pack and if you include something in your luggage, that's pretty much the same thing. This is almost a little too long, but whatever. A couple of nice, a couple nice shirts. Five shirts she liked the best. Which one is more precise? A couple nice shirts. Five shirts she liked the best. Mmm. Yeah, this is hard, but that when we break it down, it's kind of easy because the verbs are the same. Packed included in her luggage those are kind of the same i would say even this bottom one slightly more specific but a couple of nice shirts is almost as general as some shirts that are good i mean what's the difference between some shirts that are good and a couple nice shirts i mean kind of the same thing but five shirts that she likes the best so we're talking about her five favorite shirts that's very specific bro so you guys may not like this <laughs> The answer is B, bro. <laughs> wow. What a time to be alive. Yeah. 
Well, it doesn't change the sentence. She's bringing shirts. Like five shirts is just more precise than shirts that, that are good. You know what I'm saying? Because we know that they're shirts and some and five is more precise than some. So it doesn't change the sentence. Now, if I said five shirts that are her favorite and she's never coming back to wherever she's from, that would be changing it. Yeah. Five out of five dance. Zao got four to five. Fall got five. Wow. You guys did pretty good, dude. That's what's up. Next time, do reading comp. Okay, Nayblade. We can do that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got music. I got music, Jordan. Yeah. No, this is not the end, Chip. This is absolutely not the end. I've only yet to begun. Wait, that's not a great sentence. I've only began. All right, so I'm, I saw in the chat earlier, people wanted to talk about number lines. So we can talk about number lines because I, I just cut that music just because I was like, eh. But we can talk about number lines if you guys want to. We can do poetry next. Yeah, we're going to do reading comprehension uh, probably later this week. Uh, we are not ending. No. Um, that is facts. Yes. One out of one. Good job, inordinate being. <laughs> Good job, man. Uh, okay. Time for math. Yes. So, yeah. Dude, great transition word, Nade Blade. That's nice. It was too easy. Goods, Rizzy. That's a good thing to hear, man. Uh, I think the ninth is actually later, Nahar. Um, <laughs> that's true, Infernus. Number lines are easy. Uh, put in <laughs> an interval on a number line. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great idea, April. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. So hold on, let me let me whip this up really quick. Um, I just gotta figure out how this would work out. So it'd be. Um, Okay, cool. This is gonna be a chill question. So just give me a second to like write it out. All right, hold on. I'm gonna to try to make this a little hard. So if it's too hard for you, like don't even trip, we'll go over it. Um, so wait, how many was it? Okay. Uh, okay so we have, let's see. We'll do this. Okay, this is so great. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. So here's the question. Uh, let's see. <laughs> By hand stuffing ravioli addiction. What? <laughs> oh, that's right. That problem that we did like forever ago. That's funny. That's funny, April. All right, cool. Dude, sleep on day until death is back. What's up, dude? Um, yeah. Uh, wow. That's exciting, April. All right, so let's actually get <laughs> the ruler is back. Dude, look at how busted my ruler is, dude. This is like, you can see how like chipped away it is. Like it doesn't even draw like straight lines anymore on certain edges just because it's so busted. Um, whatever, dude, it's still straight. So, all right, here's your first question. Um, let me actually get it so it's like looks really legit. Only the, only the freshy of the fresh materials on this channel. All right, bros, here's your first question. I'll give you guys like two minutes. Let's get it. <laughs> Thanks, Sal.
Oh, thanks, Shade. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> thanks, Nate Blade. You'll buy a ruler. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> wow that's huge jordan okay cool so we're getting some answers coming in so i'm going to write them out we got audition we got pew man nice zao's up on it too okay cool uh zang word um nazir huh Dude, what? Um, wow, you guys crushed this. Crunchy. Huh? Oh, I think I put huh twice. Nice, dude. You made it. Cade. Word. Sing. Dude. All right, see ya, Cade. Uh, but why? Got you, bro. Venus. Wow. Jason. Wow. Sorry, Shade. Dude, you guys obliterated this problem. Um, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude, so we can go into this now. Um, that is not quite two minutes, so I'll give you guys like 15 more seconds. Uh, Rama's got it too. Okay word okay cool <laughs> the bandwagon is always real uh so let me move my coffee so i don't spill it all over my floor like i have before um okay so oh that's venna too dude my blue pen is gonna die soon you guys are watching it happen um Okay, so let's go into this problem. Let's talk about how to do this one. So the first thing that we're going to consider is that every mark on the number line is equally spaced. So that means that all of these are equally spaced. Well, how many spaces are between these two numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. So we know that in between here, there's going to be eight spaces. How much is there in between? Well, to find the distance, you could also find the difference. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, and whenever you minus a negative, that's the same thing as plus. Okay, so we have 16 sevenths between here and here, and there's eight spaces. So eight spaces for 16 sevenths, that means, I mean, you could divide it by eight if you want to. You can multiply it by one eighth, or you can just kind of see eight and 16 and just kind of figure it out that way. But I'm gonna multiply it by one eight because I wanna know how big one eighth of these spaces are. Um, this eight and this 16 will cross out. So what I get is two sevenths. So this is two sevenths, this is two sevenths, and this is two sevenths. So plus two sevenths, plus two sevenths, and plus two sevenths. So what it would end up being is that negative four over seven plus six or two seven, two seven, two seven, six sevenths. What I end up getting is two sevenths. The chats are, chats are absolute mad lads. <laughs> Space isn't negative. It can be uh, on a number line. It can be because then here, this point right here would just be zero. And so that's how a number line can have negative values or something like that. You guys absolutely incinerated this. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we can do another one of these. <laughs> you guys were not all wrong. You guys were all right. So yeah, why are you guys saying you were wrong? <laughs> you, guys, you guys are absolute legends. Okay, cool. Let me find, um, let me see if I can find the, uh, the question that I was very interested in. Let's see if I can, it's a number line question too. I just have to find it in my computer. Um, okay, yeah, this is gonna be really good. All right, hold on one second. I just, I found a, a question, but it's copyright. So I have to do like my own version of it. <laughs> so I get copy striked, bruh. 
All right, hold on. Okay. All right, chill. Just give me like, give me like one minute. So just like, go get like a snack or something. Or not even, just like, I don't know. All right, so. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, this is going to be really good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, I don't want to make this too easy for you guys, but I think I might. Okay, cool. So here's the question. We can definitely do A, B, C, and D are located at negative 2, 0, 3, and 5, respectively. How many units is the midpoint of line AB from the midpoint of line CD? Let's get it. Would you be immortal only if Danny DeVito gave up acting? No, I think that would be like less reason to live. Dude, that's tough, a boss. Yeah, you got to balance that out, bro. Why was the last question spaces eight? Because there were eight spaces between the two numbers. I can go back and like show you in a minute. Okay, so we got some answers coming in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put them up. We got Zhang and Hog on five. Ranger. Yeah, exactly, Venus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auditioning, bruh, huh? Dude, the chat is so smart today, dude. Phoenix, what is up? I gotta think of harder questions. I'm gonna come with I'm gonna come with some sauce next. So don't get too cocky now. Dan's a boss. Dude, absolutely incinerating my problem here. Sorry. I, I think this is the answer too. I'm not hundred percent sure, but the bandwagon's so real, it's got me thinking it's the answer. Uh, president. Nice, dude. Uh, <laughs> you're writing a story? Chill, bro. Uh, inordinate being. Got you being. Uh, good dude. I'm glad it was easy, bro. Jump on the bad wagon, Wiz. All aboard, bro. Uh, ghost. Tenzin. Nice. Ghost. Word. Jason's Rizzy. All right, dude. You guys absolutely dominated this question. Wow. Okay, cool. So that's about as much time as you should take for a hard question on the SHSAT. Um, if you're taking more than two minutes on a question, you're doing yourself a disservice, dude. Just skip it. Just skip it. You can always come back and give two more minutes to it. But if you can't, you know, you can't just skip it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Okay, so let's go into this. All right. So the first thing you have to do is obviously draw the number line, right? Let's do this in red. All right, cool. So we have A, B, C, D, negative 2, 0, 3, and 5. What's the midpoint here is a negative 1. What's the midpoint here? It's 4. So what's the distance between these two? 4 minus a negative 1. That's going to be 5. Wow. That was way too easy. <laughs> that was way too easy. All right, okay. So I got to think of a harder one so you guys don't BTFO my questions so hard. Um, Let's see here. 
What would be really hard? Oh, okay, I can do something like that. Hold on. So we'll do this. We'll do like that. We'll say four, two, three. Hmm. Hmm, that's kind of too easy. Oh, that's better. Okay, cool. So then that would be, okay, great. All right, so. Hold on a second, that doesn't work, so. I'm trying to make this. I'm trying to make this hard, dude. So it's gonna take. It's gonna take a second. Hold on. Um, let's see. So great, and then and then this would be. Okay. No, that'd be so. Okay, this is a good question. All right, so check it out. Oh, wait, no, let me get a new piece of paper for this. Uh, uh, what type of math is on the ninth grade SHSAT? It's the same stuff on the eighth grade SHSAT plus whatever you learned this year. So if you learned graphing this year, that's probably going to be on the test. If you learned cube roots, if you learned, how, you know, that type of stuff, how to find roots, how to foil, quadratic formula, any of that stuff could be fair game, whatever freshman year. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So we can do radicals. Yeah, we could definitely do radicals, Ricky. All right. So. Okay. You guys want a question? That's hard. I got you. Here we go. All right, let's get it. Wait, wait, wrong way. All right, cool. I'll give you guys three minutes and I'll try to be quiet during it. On a number line, W, X, Y, and Z are at negative 4.5, negative 2.5, 6.5, and 24.5, respectively. How far is the midpoint of W, Y from the midpoint of X, Z? Oh yeah, the Google Classroom. Yeah, I didn't end up joining that. Yeah, I can I can pop in for sure. Um, yeah. Camera equal no focus. Oh, it's better now. I'm iced out. <laughs> Oop. Um, I don't know in furnace. I'm not really like hip on box office. Like I don't really care about that. Okay, auditioning is on ten already, dude. Wow. Uh Sammy's on eight. Chip is on ten. <laughs> Provident. Oh, I didn't write your name. Sammy, my bad. Sammy. 
Um, who else? Jason. Um, a boss. Dude, I'm going to need a different color, bro. Uh, Uden. Or I'll just go Nazir. Gotcha, dude. Zang. Uh, Zrizzy. Um, President's got 20. Word. Uh, Nahar's got 10. Dude. Uh, Fuse. Jupiter's got 12. That's a 12. <laughs> I cannot calculate. Yes, you can, dude. You can do this. Y got 8. I'll give you guys like another 40 seconds on this one. Being inordinate. Uh, Zerzi saying, I think I got you guys. Why? Got you, dude. Uh, Leno. Got you, bro. Ricky. Uh, I don't know the answer to this. Zhao. Sammy, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tenzin. Word. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, jump on, Crunchy. It's nice and it's nice and cozy on the bandwagon, bro. Uh, Kira, nice. All right, cool. Let's go through this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, the boss. Yeah, definitely smash that like button. Uh, skills got ten. Um. Oh, sing. My bad, dude. What'd you put for your answer, bro? <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's go into it. Phoenix. What'd you put, dude? Oh, I got you. Phoenix. How could I miss? How could I miss, dude? Shod. All right. So that is already a little bit too much time. But let's go into it and let's talk about it because oh, Rodney got it too. Because this is harder. A um, little bit more of a split in the answers and stuff. Phoenix is reading so hard. Um <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's go into it all right i can't write down any more answers all right so um i guess we'll use purple so guys we're talking about a number line and if they don't if they don't give you a number line dude they might not give you a number line don't think that you got to be fast and don't worry about not drawing the number line nah bro you got to secure the bag dude so put a number line and fill it out easy peasy dude Bang, bang, uh, bang, and then there's one way over here, bang. So negative 4.5, negative 2.5, 6.5. You like how I put everything 0.5 just to make it harder? 25.5, that, that's just 25.5, all right, whatever. So we need to find the first, the midpoints between W and Y, the midpoint of W and Y. So let me pop out so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so we need to talk about the midpoint here. Um, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, cool. So let's go into it. So how do we break these apart? How do we find the distance? Well, just because the numbers are more complex and you can't just spatially figure it out doesn't mean that you need to abandon what you already know. Like if we have a number line and this is 10 and this is two, what's the distance between them? Well, obviously it's going to be eight, but we could just do 10 minus two and get eight. The difference is the distance. Mm. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever said that. So we need to subtract. So what is 6.5 minus 4.5 and minus a negative 4.5? That's going to be 11. So 11 divided by 2 because we need to find the midpoint. Is that going to be 11? Yeah, it's going to be 11. So it's going to be 5.5. And it's going to be a positive 5. Ooh, that means that it's 5.5 away from this guy and it's 5.5 away from this guy. So let's count backwards from here. That's going to leave us at, I'm going to do a different color. So it's like way mad obvious. That's going to be at one and that's our midpoint, right? It's going to be five and a half from 4.5 and five and a half from 6.5. Yeah. Looking nice. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're going to get 24.5 minus a negative 2.5. So what we end up getting is 27. 27 divided by 2 is going to be, I can do this in my head, 13.5, 13.5. So it's going to be 13.5 spaces from this guy and 13.5 spaces from that guy. 
So what is 24.5 minus 13.5? Um, whoops, 24.5 minus 13.5, that's a zero, one, one. So it's gonna be 11 spaces, or it's gonna be at 11, which is right about here. Lovely. So what? how far away are these two numbers apart? Dude, you're already home free, bro. So it's gonna be 11 minus one. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be 10. Noise, the absolute legends. Really, really nice guys. That's super sick. <laughs> Good job, dudes. That was a hard question. Um, all right, so is there anything else that you guys wanna work on? Because uh, that was number lines. We could do some like, um, we could do some number lines with inequalities, like a really hard one, but you're gonna have to give me like, you're gonna have to give me like two minutes to, to make the question if you guys do wanna do like inequalities with number lines, because that is fair game. That's totally fair game. Um, so yeah, we could do something like that. I'm gonna drink some coffee while I wait for the chat to catch up to me, because you guys are like 20 seconds behind. Can I explain again? Yeah, I can. All right, dudes, so, First things first is we need to find out how big of a distance. Like, for example, in this earlier problem between 2 and 10, what's the midpoint? Well, we know that there's 8 spaces between 2 and 10. There's a distance of 8. So we need to find what half of that is. So we divide it by 2, and it's going to be 4. And so it's going to be 4 spaces from here and 4 spaces from here. And that would be our midpoint. We have 4 spaces and 4 spaces for a total of 8 spaces between the whole thing, and we found a nice little midpoint. So that's why we divide it by two. So what we're doing here is we're finding the distance between negative 4.5 and 6.5, which is 11. We divide it by two, which is 5.5, which means that's gonna be 5.5 from here and 5.5 from here, and that happens to be one. We did the same thing with these two numbers and got 11, so that's what's up. Ratio and rates. Um, we did ELA to start the uh, session, bro. You just gotta, re you just gotta rewind it. Is, is that even a word anymore? Rewind? Um, do picking numbers? Yes, we can, actually. We can do picking numbers. That's, let me actually, hold on a second. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can pull, pull up a file that I think will be hard for you guys. Um, uh, dude, I have way too many problems on my computer. I like can't even get to all of them. Finesse. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's rewind time. Dude, what was hilarious about the YouTube Rewind is like everybody who made a parody of it made amazing rewinds. Like I saw like a, obviously Pewds, but like I saw like a Slav YouTube Rewind and it's just so funny, dude. It's like, like everybody hates on it, but I actually love it because they inspired the community to come together. Like when has the YouTube community come together? A hundred percent of the community. You know what I mean? It was... It was actually a, a golden play by YouTube. Um, so, okay, here's the question. Give me a second to, to write them up because I just want to uh, make sure that this is actually really good to go. Okay. Um, so. Um, our, um, Um, okay.
All right, so here's a chill question. Um, let me zoom out on it. I wonder if a video could get it all. Yeah. All right, bros. Here we go. So A and B are numbers that follow the expression of negative B is less than A, which is less than B, which must be true. The absolute value of A is less than B. A is greater than zero. B is greater than zero. And we have to decide out of those three statements, which are true. Yeah, dude, they are going to do Old Town Road for 2019. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, Pew Man's Rewind was so good. <laughs> okay, cool. What a time to be alive, guys. All right, so we're getting some answers in here. Uh, J-Man thinks it's A. I'm just going to put you right next here. J. A boss is there too. Nade. Um, ghost is on D. Word. Pew. Sammy. Uh, Sing. Um, Anuj. Uh, Rona. Nice. Nazir. Word. Um, can you sit, switch to three? Which one? Sammy's on A. Got you, Sammy. Uh, Rodney is on one. Rodney. Word. Uh, geek is on C. Would it be a Would it be a free bird geek? Uh, Ricky's on D. Luffy is on D. Wait, was that D for Luffy? Yeah. Nice. What's up, Luffy? Word. Ricky. All right. Great. Ricky, all right, no, I got you, Ricky. I thought Rodney. You, oh, I got you twice, Ricky. Dang. <laughs> Jupiter. Ooh, did I throw you guys skills? Shout out to skills, as always. Um, Venus got B. Whoa, dudes. Whoa, I think I threw you. All right, that's enough time for sure. Okay, wow, dude. Uh, Zhao, got you, dude. Word. Dude. People are not, who said B? Hey, Venus. All right, nice. At least somebody said V. Word. Um, okay. Crunchy's on C. Being is on C. All right, dude, look at the spread. Wow, that is crazy. Being got you. J-Man, you can't change your answer, bruh. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's up. Zrizzy. All right, wow. Okay, we got to go over this, dudes. I, I, know, I know I missed some people on the answers, uh, but shout out to everybody who didn't get, who didn't get shouted out. <laughs> yeah shout out to everybody who didn't get shouted out so um wow this is a picking numbers and i forget who suggested to do this type of problem but good for you man this is a great problem type and this is a problem type that the shsat loves because you don't need to know a formula to do this you just need to be crafty bro you just need to be sneaky so we're gonna plug in some numbers and we're gonna see what works with this and what doesn't work with this so i'm gonna cover these answers up really quick just so i can have a workspace so we know that negative b is less than a which is less than b okay so let's talk about what a could be well a could be a negative number so let's say a is negative two well then b could be negative three and this could be three and so this would be a is negative two and b is three and that works out really nicely what if a is um i don't know like something like uh four if a is four then we have four b could actually be would that actually work no it, it wouldn't but b would have to be even if b was two or five if b is five that works and then we have negative five so if a it can be negative that's totally fine so this isn't absolutely true because we can have a negative 2a and if b is 3 then we're good to go so that's actually okay um this is a is positive and b is positive yeah that's good to go too
So notice here that we have this one as well. The absolute value of A is less than B. In this case, that's true because the absolute value of negative, oh, that's horrible. The absolute value of negative two is less than three. So that works. Uh, the absolute value of four is less than five. So that works too. The only thing I can't really see is that this isn't good. So that B is positive here and B is positive here. What if B is negative? Like what if B is like negative five? So then it would be a negative negative five or five and then it'd be this and then a negative five. Nothing goes in here, dudes. No singular number can go in here. And so because of it, B actually cannot be negative. So B has to be positive. So yeah, B has to be positive. So we know that B has to be positive. We know that the absolute value C. <laughs> Whoa, what if B is negative three? Yeah, exactly, dude. Then the B would cancel that out. Yeah. Dude. That is what's up, dude. That is absolutely, absolutely what's up. So how many field questions? Uh, I think there's 10 on each section. No, uh, gosh, it's been so long since I thought about that. I think 10 on each section, something like that. Yeah. Dude, auditioning, you put that too? So yeah, dude. The answer here is C right? A does not have to be, I don't know why I crumpled this up. A does not have to be positive. A could be a negative two. And if B is five, that works, right? So yeah, that's how this goes down pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's, that's this question. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Um, so let me see. <laughs> Dude, actually shout out to animation space for making this thumbnail, uh, Laurel. Yeah, dude, that's that's all animation space, dude. Like he's really talented. He's he's dropped two thumbnails um already and they're both really really great. Um yeah, exactly a boss. If you go for speed over precision, you're going to get BTFO. So you got to like yeah, you got to just make sure that you really secure each one. You get a minute and a half for each question and there will be some questions that only take you like 30 seconds. So it's not like you know what I mean? It's not like crazy. Um I don't use the, I don't kill the paper. I, I don't crumple them too much anymore. Like I, I keep them and I use them. Like these are from like previous streams. You know what I mean? And so I use them for like figuring out problems. I just use like the back of them and stuff. Uh, how much do I make on YouTube? Like a dollar, <laughs> like a dollar a day, dude, like nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, dude, Laurel. Laurel's an OG for sure. Uh, yeah, quality over quantity. What do you mean, Zhao? Mm. Yeah, what do you mean, bruh? Let's see if I can get another one like that for you guys. Um, mm. Let's see. Okay, cool. Here, Here's a redemption for you, bros. Uh, here is a redemption for all of you guys who felt like, oh man, I should have gotten that one. Oh man, I know I can get it. Now's your time for redemption, bruh. Yeah, dude, a dollar's better than nothing for sure, dude. And it's more of just like, you know, I don't know. I, I just am like super pumped that we were able to get to a thousand subs. Like that was like, I didn't I didn't think that we'd be able to get to it so quick and we, we crushed up into it, dude. It was awesome. All right, so let me, let me write this problem out and then I'll give you guys a chance for your redemption here. Um, so guys, remember, it's not about speed. You get a minute and a half, dudes. So as long as you're not taking longer than two minutes, you got it, dude. You got it. So just make sure your answer's right. Check your answer before you move on, dude. Um, keep in mind, the test is hard, bro. Um, all right, word. Uh, okay.
Okay, cool. So here's the question, bro. Dude, your friend got a 112 out of 114? Dude, what a legend. Um, <laughs> uh, Kira, you got caught up in my filter. Um, cool. Uh, rigid transformations? Uh, why don't you send me an email on that, dude? That's like a very niche kind of topic. Yeah. Uh, did ELA and the test get harder? It's so impossible to say, dude. I think it's going to get harder this year if I had to guess, because now they're including like journal entries and biographies and like poem, two poems potentially. I think they're really trying to like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, thanks, a boss. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, if M, okay, yeah, we can do that after this in fairness. All right, so check it out, dude. Here's your redemption. Redemption time, bro. Let's focus up. Let's get it. A minus B over A. That equals C. In the equation above, A is negative, and B. Oh, I didn't put that thing right there. I was like, yeah. B is positive, which must be true. C is greater than one, C equals one, C equals negative one, and C is less than negative one. Let's go. Yeah, it could be two pawns, Jupiter. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got 50 out of 800. I think, Kira, your best bet at that point would be just to start praying. <laughs> yeah, ELA is hard, dude. I think they're going to make the ELA much harder this year. That's just my guess. Um, or maybe they'll make it easier. I don't even know. I, I think if I do, if you are looking for a hot take though, I will say that I think they're going to make the math section hard. I can like feel it, dude. I have a feeling they're going to make the math section real hard this year, but that's just me. Um, all right. So we got Y, uh, and it's not going to be conventionally hard either. It's going to be like tricky, like this, like you don't need to know a formula, but you just got to be like, you got to be stealth. You know what I mean? All right, Zhang, Zrizzy, um, huh? Yeah, <laughs> for real though. Jason, Crunchy, all right, word. Uh, Ranger, auditioning, yeah, president, nice dude. <laughs> Sammy, word, geek. Oh man, I wonder how many times I've written some of your guys' names. Venna, uh, Zhao is on C. Yeah, got you, dude. Uh, Being is on A. Nice. Word. Sammy, got you. Uh, Nade, I think I already got you, dude. Nope, Nade. Nice. Um, OZD, got you, dude. OZD. Nice, man. Um, Venus. Is that J on D, I think? Yeah, J. J man. J man's on D. Nice. Dude. Okay, cool. So do you have any idea on how to do the kinds of problems? I have trouble with these sometimes. This type of problem or what type of problem are you talking about, Leno? Negative cancel out. Ooh, <laughs> Christy. Um, did I show you the question before? Maybe. <laughs> Why this got A to? All right, word. Ghost. Um, Jupiter. All right, cool. All right, so let's go over this, guys. Let's do it. Venus, I got A. So looks like the redemption might be kind of real here. A lot of people are choosing A. Um, I don't know who it could be. Uh, so let's go into it. That's about enough time. All right, so guys, again, we just need to try everything. You know what I mean? Like we have, exactly, Laurel. You got to finesse it. Oh, Jordan, you said A? All right, cool, got you, Jordan. Yeah, so you gotta finesse it, dude. You just gotta finesse it. Um, so we need to figure out what A could be. A is negative and B is positive. So we know that this could be less than one or it could be greater than one. So for example, let's say A equals negative one and B equals four. So we have negative one minus four over negative one that will equal negative five over negative one. And for you guys who are confused about this, another way to write this is negative one times five over negative one. Oh, whoops, negative one times one. That, that's a one. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> so these negatives cancel out because any number over itself is one. So what we do end up getting is five over one or five. So that in this case, C is going to be greater than one. Now let's see if A absolute value is bigger. Let's say A is negative four and B is one. So then we have negative four minus one over negative four, negative five over negative four. That's the same thing. Oh, you guys couldn't even see that. That's the same thing as saying negative one times five over negative one times four. That's one. So we get five over four. C is going to be greater than one. C is going to be greater than one. That's what's up. That's our answer. A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's how this one goes down guys that's how this one works um so yeah like you guys just need to pick numbers for these like i feel like the shsat is going to have more of these types of problems because they don't necessarily want to benefit the kid who's memorized all the formulas and who has gone to all the classes they want to just give everybody an even playing field so i think they're going to do a lot of questions like this because you just got to you just got to finesse it, dude. You just got to be like able to finesse. You know what I mean? Um, boom, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, do -do -do. Uh, that's a good question in furnace. Yeah. All right. See you, Venice. Take it easy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, dude, that's what's up. All right, cool. All right, bros. Let me see here. Yeah. Okay. All right, dude, that's the stream. What a time to be alive. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot I put these little dudes here. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah. So, guys, definitely check out my website, Tyler Tudor. I just re-upped on it. It looks really sick. You can practice on it. And if you guys have any questions about the SHSAT, you know I got you. So send me an email. But I do got to get out of here. So peace, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. 6P. Let's go.